Hello, oh, what is good people? Welcome back to another episode of I Ain't Gonna Say Nothing But. So, uh, we got some good topics. We're gonna get into it. I hope you enjoy it because, hmm, I know I'm gonna enjoy talking about them. So, let's get into it. I ain't gonna say nothing, but check this video out. Like, check it out. I know, right? You are seeing three white girls who are just standing there with a fucking... You're just seeing them stand there with the hood over their head while you have a fucking pan on an oscillating fan hitting them. Like, come on now. I ain't gonna say nothing, but y'all look stupid as shit. This is the epitome of what it says, oh, I got bored, so I didn't know what else to do. Like, you got these three white hoes that are just standing there. And then if you watch it, like, just keep watching. You'll see the dog is like, okay, what the fuck is going on here? Is somebody going to take me out because I want to play? And then the one girl gets hit in the face. And it doesn't look like they all got hit, but they did. But it's just like, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I ain't going to say nothing, but see... This is this is the shit that we be talking about because when white kids they get bored they want to start shooting up places or they want to start researching um, guns on how to kill people or how to make homemade bombs or or whatever. Not that I'm saying that black kids don't do it, but you don't see nobody like this just standing around tying a pan to a fan, let it osculate. And then just stand there hopefully hoping that your ass gets hit in the face by it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? You know these dumb hoes ain't got nothing else to do. You know their parents are probably out somewhere just getting all liquored up, getting licked and dicked down, and doing whatever the fuck it wants. Because we when we know when it comes to white parenting, white parenting just let their kids do whatever the fuck they want. I can say I know I've never been home to do some dumb shit like this. Like, just look at it. Like, let, just let's run it back and let's play this shit again. Like, look at this. Could, I can't believe it. And I've seen this like maybe about 10, 11 times because I, just, I had to watch it over and over as to just the dumb shit that is going on like i can't believe this i can't believe you just got three girls just standing there waiting to get hit in the face with a fucking frying pan like honestly what the fuck is wrong with people really what the fuck is wrong with people? why would you do this stupid shit to yourself like make this shit make sense to me and everybody else really i mean even me trying to um to um research it more i couldn't find anything you just you know people saying the same thing on twitter like how could they be doing this and i'm thinking just fuck you wow wow so i ain't gonna say nothing but you need to find something else to do constructively with your time like like find something else to do basically just find something else to do to have fun. Don't do not do dumb shit like this. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. Next one. I ain't going to say nothing, but I think these BBLs are getting out of hand. Now, I can say this from a personal standpoint because with me working in the medical field, I'm in the operating rooms majority of the time for my career. So I've seen a lot of women getting these BBLs to where you be thinking, where is this fat coming from? And if it is, it's not going to stay there. Now, I've said this numerous times on podcasts that I've been on, even some of the topics that I've covered in my own podcast and my own videos that y'all can go check out, that nine times out of 10, when you get a fat transfer from anywhere on your body, it doesn't matter. Remember, fat is stored in a certain place and it is supposed to stay there. And then if you take it out of one place and put it into another, it is necessarily not going to be not going well, not going to stay there like you want it to. And I can even remember on some of the surgeries that I have seen firsthand that when doctors they put they put the fat into your behind they put it in almost like a caulking gun so if you ever seen someone trying to caulk a tub or caulk a shower there it's like it's like a little gun and they put it inside 
and they pull it back and they you know caulk it and so then after once he puts it inside he or she whichever they mold it to make sure that it's you know nice and round and supple but then again sometimes it just it's not always round and voluptuous like these women want it to be it's really not and i understand everybody wants that perfect shape perfect shape like i said in the episode that i did called bot fit you can't say that you are working out you know to keep your shape when you actually bought it when you did all types of surgery whether it be excuse me whether it be a rhinoplasty your nose uh, liposuction between your I don't know, neck, your arms, your abdomen, your back, your stomach, your thighs. And then you just look like you just was cut from a Greek god, uh, Zena herself, or I mean, Athena herself. Like, come on now, be realistic. Like, if you bought that shit, you bought that shit. It's not, there's no shame in it. And it's like, if you go on Instagram, you'll see these women who just look like they just were just snapped together easily. And then, and then they put on these fucking waist trainers and make it seem like, oh yeah, this is how I got that, this shape. No, the fuck you did it, bitch. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, you did it. You bought that shit. You absolutely bought that shit because of the, what, how many BBLs have I seen? How many liposuctions? So I've seen about 20, 20 liposuction surgeries. And then I maybe seen about seven or eight BBLs give or take um so it's almost like you can i guess because i've been seeing it for a little bit you're gonna almost say yes she got surgery done because there's no way your genetics says that you are just been small all your life there there's no way not that i'm saying i'm an expert because i'm not but just being in the medical field being in the or room you just have to say like yeah that whole bought her body there's no way no way unless you are just af- athletically built athletically shaped in a way to where you just you got good genetics but if you just look rotundant like you are shaped like a bag of laundry and then you come out all curvy and whatnot yeah yeah so i and also another thing i would say i seen a lot of episodes i've seen a lot of um content that says you know people are going overseas to get their body done people are going overseas because it's less expensive because they want they want to pay the the least to get the best look well that's fine but remember if you're doing that you are putting yourself at risk for any type of thing that's happening because if you go overseas, you're not always going are not always guaranteed 100 satisfactory results. Like at the bottom, you know, at the bottom when it's the little damn infomercials when it says results may vary. Yeah, that's what happens. Results will vary once you take your ass over there. You know, you'll get taken care of. But when you come back, there's no guarantee that you can go back and get it fixed. It really isn't because you spent a lot of money to get there. And then you stay up, lay up, and then get taken care of, and then you come back. So you got to almost be a little bit more mindful of um, of doing these type of elective surgeries. Yes, they they have a very good benefit here and there. But remember, it's dangerous out here because if you get the wrong doctor and they fuck you up, there's no coming back from it. You will be scarred forever. You know, I'm almost surprised that you don't see a lot of dudes get BBLs unless they're gay. I mean, I would never get a BBL. Like, I'm okay with my flat ass. It just it hurts sometimes when I'm like sitting on wood chairs. Like, my ass just hurts and it just feels like bone is just cracking if I just sit longer and longer on a wood chair. Like, I'm sitting right now and my ass already hurts. Like I have to put like some type of pillow just have I can have a cushion. 
but that's the only cushion I want. I'm not going to get no fat sucked out of my feet or my thighs or whatever and put in my ass. Nope. I am good. I am good. So I'm not going to say nothing, but when you do these surgeries, make sure you do them for the right reasons. Not just because you see some Instagram hoe doing it. I mean, let's just be honest. So I'm not going to say nothing, but niggas. Yes, niggas. We got to talk about niggas. Because we always talk about ladies. What's wrong with ladies? And what the females are doing, what they're not doing. But, uh, niggas. So, remember the, the famous Chris Rock joke. There's two types of people in this world. There's black men and then there's niggas. And niggas have got to go. There's nothing you can do You can't have a good time Because there's always those type of niggas Who are going to fuck up everything For everybody It don't matter what it is It don't matter where you're going There's just there's some type of nigga commotion That just be like Ugh. Or like the boondocks Where you had the nigga moment Where you had two niggas fighting over god knows what And it just made a whole big commotion About nothing So I can say this Me I carry myself like a black man because, you know, I do what I'm supposed to. I don't cause commotion. I make sure I take care of myself. I take care of others. And, you know, I try to do the best that I can with what I have. But niggas, mm, mm, mm. niggas, ah, niggas have got to go. They really do. And I'm not saying we have like some type of genocide. No, what I'm saying is we just get rid of niggas because niggas cause problems for people that don't need to be caused. Like, for instance, I got this nigga that lives above me. He lives above me. I've seen this man, what, in the three years I've lived where I'm at, I've seen this man maybe a handful of times. But I hear him most any, all the fucking time. This nigga is always stomping. This nigga is always yelling. Like his, cause his, um, his apartment is right above mine. So I hear him. He's always stomping. And like when I have people over, they're always complaining. Like when this summer, when I had my mom over, she stayed here. She was like, does this nigga ever go to sleep? And I swear to God, I was like, no, ma, he doesn't. He never goes to sleep. And when he does, mm. and another thing, I don't know. I don't know why women are so attracted to stupid, dumbass niggas. But this nigga, man, he just got a revolving door of hoes going in and out, in and out. But this nigga only lasts maybe 30 seconds to two minutes. And you can hear it because, like I said, he lives right above me right fucking above me like he is so quick it's almost like you can just conduct it and you'll be ready and then it's over and then he goes to sleep and then he's right back at it again i'm surprised this nigga don't have babies coming in and out i really am but this nigga gets on my nerves because every time i go up there to confront him i'm like hey bro there's just like certain times of the night you just need to keep it down for everybody like everybody i can even remember last summer before i left um to travel for work it, i was here for maybe what two months and <laughs> and in my apartment complex they put up signs of this is a no smoking area and every time you would walk in here you would automatically smell weed like it just it was that potent and it was from that nigga because he was selling out of this place now hey i'm not no snitch you get your money i ain't gonna tell nobody i respect your business just like you respect mine so i'm not gonna get into it. you do what you do that's between you and god but sometimes you just you gotta play ball bro like if you got other people complaining just let it go for a little bit you know let it chill do what you gotta do and then come back but nah bro nah this nigga was just straight on it i even remember one time i ran into him into the hall when i was coming i forget where i was coming i don't know if it was night or day it was one at a time and then he was like hey man you know i got that fire for you i'm like nah bro i'm good i'm good 
and that's the only time we ever had like a mutual gen- general general conversation that's it it was like that's it he went about his way i went about his way so when i see him in passing we say hi that's it but this dude is definitely a nigga and he gets on my fucking nerves because i always gotta hear his fucking <sighs> escapades I'll say that. I always got to hear his escapades of what the fuck he's doing. So I'm pretty sure for everybody who's watching, I'm pretty sure you have all had your nigga moment where you dealing with someone and someone just like pulls that car and you just be like, what the fuck is you thinking? Like, what is going through your mind? Why are you doing this? Honestly, why are you doing this? And it's just like, damn, what is wrong with people? Really, what is wrong with people? So... We got to get rid of niggas. We got it. We do. And it's like niggas are like roaches. They're just everywhere. It don't matter. It's like you think you get rid of one and then here comes five more. Automatically, they're just everywhere. And then they make more little nigglets. And then just the world will get overpopulated with dumb, stupid ass nigglets and niggas. Yeah. 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 So I ain't going to say nothing, but niggas have got to go, bro. They really do. And if they don't, then this world would get dumber and dumber by the day because, you know, they'll populate more and more. And then it's over for us all. It really is. So thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. I ain't going to say nothing. But if you do enjoy this, make sure that you comment, you like, and you subscribe to the channel. You know, you subscribe a second look, you know let 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 me know let the team know that we we doing something out here we trying to make it happen so i appreciate it so much and uh if you like this oh also go over and check out the youtube well not youtube because we're on youtube <laughs> but make sure you go out and you check the podcast of sarcasm orgasms um it, you know dope season uh, and we drop a new episode every wednesday 10 a.m so make sure you uh you subscribe to that so i will check all y'all out soon you know keep it locked here on second look on youtube go check out sarcasm orgasms oh if you like anything um go over to youtube page well i keep saying youtube go over to the ig page that's sarcasm two underscores orgasms and you know check out the daily dose of sarcasm that we always got going on so once again i'm your host will and i'll talk to you